This is the S&P 500 one day reading for August 16th, 2023. It's currently June 26th, 2023, 7.18 p.m. Eastern time. And the shuffle file that we're about to play was created on June 16th, 2023 at 11.26 p.m. Eastern time. That's this video right here. So the overall theme and behavior for the day, it's going to be pretty mixed day. When you see the change card as, as the overall theme and behavior, um, it's either a narrow range along a key support level or you have um, like wide swings, but again with like equal amounts of bulls and bears. Um, and it just kind of ends up going sideways. Um, however, when we when we take a look at the uh, one month, we've got the ace of discs. We're, we're lined up um, actually more so with the fortune card than the ace of discs. So the ace of discs and the princess, prince of discs uh, behavior and that support was more so the 15th. And it looks like there's actually a lot of price movement maybe at the end of the day here to the upside. We open lower. Uh, than the previous day's close and we either do like a we probably we probably we either open lower or we open higher and, and decline in the pre-market to become like lower than where we close um, at the close or excuse me at the open out of the decline there's a big move from the bottom of the range to the top of the range back to a key resistance level on a one-day scale so probably somewhere around where we dropped off from being that this um, universe card usually is like a u-shaped dip with two like equal um, priced peaks on either side of a range. So we decline into the open, big move to, uh, uh, to meet a key resistance, um, rallying along the diagonal trend line. Um, that, the rally along the diagonal trend line end, ends somewhere between, probably like between 10 and 10, 1030, somewhere in there the rally ends with a fast sudden move higher and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down, taking us into a trough um through multiple support levels into a trough at uh takes place around 11 30 ish and then out of that trough we have a rally that commences takes us back to an, either the same high that we had between the hour of 10 and 11 or 10 and 10 30 ish um pr we, we might see the same high or it's just another prominent crust or peak that that forms 12 and 1. um and off of that that peak off of that high there's a there's a, a sharp decline increasing with momentum moving forward in time um and then th that that decline takes us to somewhere it, it, there's a lot of price movement from from the peak somewhere between the 12 to one o'clock hour there's a peak with a big decline down to a trough again and there's a trade opportunity in that trough um followed by we do a little bit of sideways rotation between one and two followed by a big move higher and then another big move higher between um two and three uh out of that that big move higher between the hours of of one and three o'clock out of that big move higher there's a decline in the last hour decline ends somewhere around the last hour with a fast sudden move higher taking us to a key resistance level that we failed to break through and then we decline through key support we open lower the following day or we open with a decline in the pre-market and or one of those options but there should be pretty notable drop there um in the post market a brief peak that fast sudden move higher is going to create a brief peak that's easily missed followed by a decline through key support however the overall um volume for the day is going to be to the to the upside it looks like based on the success card yeah, so I think we probably open lower or we open around the same price level, depending on where we, if, if we end on a high here at the end of the day on the 16th, I would say we probably open lower. If we end on a low, we probably open about the same price level is my sense. Um, but that overall, what we're looking for is, we're looking for uh, behavior around the highest high. There should be a, a crest that we sell off pretty notably from on a one day chart. And that'll be the behavior forming the highest high. Behavior around the lowest low for the day is the science card. That's an important technical price level on the scale greater than the time frame of the reading. So this is a one day reading. The scale will be on the scale of at least a one month scale of important technical price level at the low, which we, we should see somewhere. We, we might see it twice, somewhere around 1115 and then somewhere in that uh, 12 to one o'clock hour. Um, I'm advised to trade around quite a bit of price swinging um, and, and a trade around below here. So there's a couple ways you could trade uh, the 16th. I think probably the best bet, um, I really got to pay attention to this low correlation here. I think when I was doing the majority of it, the interp, I, I wasn't really 
sensing it, but I'm picking up on it more so now as a low here at the end of the day. There's a trade correlation, also a correlation uh, to the low card and the trade card, so it's like a double stack kind of thing going on, a uh, double stack correlation. Um, to the low, and I think we probably want to pay, play a bullish, uh, excuse me, a bearish stance. So here in the midst of this rally early morning, um, along a diagonal trend line, when it ends with a fast sudden move higher and takes us to a peak or crest um, before breaking down through that diagonal trend line, that fast sudden move higher, I'd use it as an entry point to open up a short position. And then I'd hold that short position until we meet a trough. So there's going to be a trough a trough that takes place somewhere between 11 and 12, probably closer to 11 than to 12. And then a rally out of that to a peak or crest again. And from that second peak or crest, there's a sharp drop, um, increasing with momentum moving forward in time. And there should be a trough somewhere around, somewhere between that, a second trough there somewhere between 12 and 1 and so that second trough should be just around the same price level as that first trough that took place closer to 11 o'clock and I'll use that as an exit as an uh, I would use that as an exit for a short to get out of the short position opened in the midst of this um, fast sudden move higher uh, before the reversal there um, that would be the 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 safe the safer trade I think and then if you wanted to be a bit more speculative you could hold it till the end of the day it's, we're, we are being advised to hold the trade till the end of the day um, but it's kind of unclear I've got a lot telling me there's a lowest low here for the day but there's also a lot of bullish stuff going on on the way there so this is going to be kind of like a tricky uh, time to be holding a short position possibly to be holding a long position too but it's it's going to seem tricky probably here between between like one and three o'clock so more probably a, a safer bet to just get out at, the, at that second trough midday and that's the s p 500 for august 16th 2023 let me know how you do guys love to hear stories of people doing well i'd love to see those comments super motivational um and make sure to follow that rule of karma as always you do so here on the resources tab of our website tarot for traders what we're trying to do here is transform some of that competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill and we do that with your help i'm giving away this information it took me a lifetime to to come up with this system and get it to work properly um, and I'm giving it away guys I'm giving it away with the with the idea understanding that people using this to profit are gonna take 5% of the profits from the information on this channel and they're gonna put send it forward to one of these charities you're doing yourself a favor when you do that because you're guaranteeing abundance mentality in your own mind and then we ask that you take another 5% and you send it back to the channel as a thank you that guarantees uh, gratitude mentality both uh, types of uh, frequencies that the mind needs to have it's necessary for a proper manifestation of wealth the third component you want to have a clear conscience you are allowed to be wealthy you can be wealthy it's okay to be wealthy it doesn't it's not bad money is not bad my friends sometimes it's used for bad things and that's what we're here to do is transform that and take that money and put it somewhere good with your help guys so make sure to spend that money out of love you'll keep a clear conscience you follow those rules and the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold through this channel my friends i'll see you guys on the next one